okay guys here we have silhouette 2021 uh, we have the updated launcher interface here and it looks amazing feeling the freshness right we have the new lens correction node which is super awesome inside warp lens correction so here we have the node and if we see here we have input calibration reference distortion map lots of cool stuff here we have the properties and here we have the tools we'll make a detailed tutorial on this pretty soon so not like the older versions in silhouette 2021 we can import movie formats i'm gonna click on this video and open and here we have the footage and let's drag this into the notary window and here is the input in the viewer the next big update is the new custom file importer here we can see an option detect sequence which helps us to load footage sequentially yes you can see that here if we uncheck and if we check also we can see the long list of file formats silhouette supports lots of lots of formats and if we need the old file browser window click on here and here we have the old one so simple right we have the footage here and can import it in the interface next one is important update for roto so basically for editing points we have some reshape tools in silhouette first one is the reshape tool where we can move the points from one place to another by dragging this is the oldest reshape tool up next we have magnetic reshape tool we can select the points and drag and this gives an elastic kind of movement we can select the shapes at any area and do the same so here we can make our work little ease uh, by using new brush reshape tool this circle selection will help you to select points easily and simply drag to adjust very easy right you can note that wherever points are selected we can adjust so if you want more points to be selected hold shift and select all the way you can drag the shapes then to adjust even more flexible now right Next update is for artists who draws ever long shapes with numerous points. Let's suppose this is that complex shape. I will change the color to white. Let's select this whole shape. Right click and here we have some new options collapse and distribute points. Let's see what is collapse points. Okay, so this option will declutter that shape into like this. Basically collapse those points. Sorry, my feather handles is turned on, but you can see how the shape looks now. Let's try distribute points. Okay, so this will distribute all those points in a straight line. I will try to arrange this shape a bit. It's little tough. I'm not sure if anyone will like to play with this tool. Okay, let's try something else. Control Z. Select the whole shape again. Right click. Distribute points. <laughs> this looks like a language scripture now. But you can see all the points are in same line. One, two. You can see that here. Okay, let's give the interpolation as linear. You can see a clear line here right now. So collapse will collapse the shape into simpler form and distribute will distribute those collapse points. Up to next, let's take this tool and draw a shape around her face. Select the shape and give cardinal. Let's suppose I'm going to do a roto for her face and in times I need to adjust various sides of her face simultaneously in every frames. Both right and left sides. Gonna animate the shape to here in this frame. Again the next keyframe here. It's hard to select the points again and again. Let's come back to this frame. We have a super cool update to sort this issue. We have control groups now in Silhouette 2021 where we can group certain points and use them wherever we need without selecting them again and again. We have 1 to 8 saving options, also none and reset options. I'm saving these points in 1. You can see right over here, it shows a yellow color. Again, I'm selecting these points. Uh, let's make this as group 2 and this as group 3. Finally, last few points as group 4. All the groups shows difference in color. Now you can easily animate shapes. Let's animate these keyframes. Control groups helps us to access those set of points not only by selecting it, also by using a shortcut. Alt plus 1 
or alt plus the group number will force select the selection of points inside that specific group alt 1 2 3 4 okay so this is going to help us definitely to save a lot of time in this frame we can adjust very easily alt 2 Uh, we'll select this set of points, and we can adjust that easily. All three selection is done. Adjust it. All four. Here we go. Adjust it fast, fast, and that's done. Very easy, right? Next one is okay. Let's draw a base here. This is my shape. There are many ways to select the points in a shape. We can drag and select. Shift plus select will select the whole shape. and if you want to select this point and this and all the in between hold shift and select both the start and end points if the selection needs to be more points again hold shift and click on the next point a small tip for point selection guys in this setup i have some shapes for her face neck and nose already tracked let's rename the shapes this is the neck layer i am naming the shape also as neck here i have the shape of face and nose naming the layer as head so this is face and this is nose let's suppose this is my shape after my work and i'm going to show the qc to my lead we have nodes here for every individual shapes let's do a quick qc and a note for this task in silhouette itself wait see we have some ui updates for current frame the last frame and also first frame coming back to the qc update so in frame 183 slightly wobbling uh again let's suppose in this frame i'm going to annotate something in the nodes of the shape let's write frame 223 face shape um okay uh, shape mismatch okay also in this frame uh, i'm going to annotate like uh, frame 197 check tracking okay the last shape suppose i like this shape and i'm going to write uh, this shape is looking good or great we have done a note for every shapes and qc is done now the beautiful part is that we have the show notes view here okay wow we can see all those annotation here the most important thing is that we have a line which guides us which is the shape which uh, have that annotations in face we have these notes we can easily correct those in silhouette itself without final rendering in frame 223 here we have the notes annotated this update can improve the efficiency of pipeline for roto at least so the next update is useful for roto mainly let's draw a circle shape and let's keep that here in this frame again i'm animating this shape in this frame so we have three keyframes here basically here if i want to continue the shape until second keyframe and again i need to split the shapes till the third keyframe normally we will copy the shape i will hide this let's change the color of the spline for the second half i'm selecting the original shape and set two keyframes with 100 and 0 opacity and select the second shape and do the inverse okay turn on this shape and you can see the keyframes of opacity here when we do play the footage you can see that we successfully split the shape using opacity animation but there is an update in 2021 let's delete the shapes draw another circle shape and let's animate as we did it before added three keyframes come into the middle frame select the shape right click split shapes you can see the shape is copied let's change the spline color and also a layer is created in that name and also you can see the animated keyframes for opacity as we want to this is awesome right you can see that here spline is changing without any issue also mat is very clear 
These types of custom tools can help road artists to ease their work. Next one, let's draw a shape over here. Keyframe in first frame. So let's match the shape further into some more keyframes. Suppose we have a completed animated shape right now. Now if I want to adjust the shape a bit and it should reflect in all keyframes, one option is to match it in all keyframes. But that's not a good idea. Control Z. We have multi frame tool in silhouette. Select the tool and now adjust the shape. Now let's play and see. You can see the point is changed in all keyframes. But let's suppose if I want to animate in between these keyframes, there are some new options for multi frame in Silhouette 2021 called Weighted Multi Frame. We can use these sliders to decide which frames it should get affected. So over here, I'm giving this keyframe number. You can see now this red bar is still this keyframe. Instead of typing the numbers, uh, you can also drag this bar into the keyframe which we need. Let's drag this to this frame. You can see that frame is reflected here too. These indications are good for us to understand. Now let's move the points and check. You can see that points uh, moved only in between those keyframes. And this can be handy at times. Awesome. So there is one more thing I want to tell you guys. So now I'll introduce weighted fade in and fade out on these point animations. There are two sliders over here for that. Or else come over here, you can drag or slide into the keyframe over here. You can see a color change. Okay, you can adjust this side also. Okay, now we have that fade out here. Now after setting this weight, I'm moving the point down a bit. If we check now, you can see that fade in and fade out. Personally, I like this update very much. Up to next, we will look some updates in paint node. Take the paint node. I have connected that into the input. First thing is here we have the new color picker interface. This is very easy now. You can choose the hue of color from this color wheel and adjust the saturation and value from this inner square. We have some other option also that you can explore further. Let's test the color tool with different hues. That's fun. Let's see some other updates in clone tool. We have the new mask options for masking the clone using its alpha. Sadly, there is no alpha here, but yes, you can turn on this button and start cloning. I hope it will help you to clone more precisely. All other options are somewhat similar only. Let's see an update in auto paint. So in auto paint, we can select the history or those paint strokes and we can paint it single frame backward or forward. Let's play it one frame. Okay, we need to select the strokes again again to go ahead with one more frame. That's not good. I wish that selection stays there in the paint strokes. Uh, there are some other options also for auto painting. I guess you are aware of all these options. This single frame option is new and this update is gonna help me for sure. One more important update. Let's select a hue. Okay, this works fine. Make sure the opacity is 100. Uh, drawing a stroke here. Trying with 50 opacity now. Here we go. So we will use the opacity sliders every time for painting, right? Normally we will use the sliders here for changing opacity. Instead of that, hold Ctrl Alt and slide anywhere automatically adjust the opacity. Let's try some strokes without using the sliders manually. That is super cool, right? I hope these updates will be handy for you guys too. So we have updates for script organizing too. Let's create a messy script. Suppose this is my script. So in my nodes, inside utility, we have some new nodes, some super cool stuff, dot and note. Things getting similar to nuke. Let's take a dot node. Here we go. 
you can use this dot node and place it wherever we felt like the script is missing organizing the script now wow my script looks neat and tidy right now keeping the script clean is really important in a vfx pipeline and this nodes helps us in large way also we have the note node uh, let's take that let's keep it over here you can write anything here to make it visible in notary window also you can edit the font style and size and some other features too Once done I'm keeping it over here. Okay now let's do some more. Okay also now we have some additional properties for nodes. In this properties tab over here let's select the roto properties. Options tab we have layout options. and we have the connection types options can't see the curved option here let's try here curved okay you can see the pipe is curved now i like to keep it straight also you can change the color of the nodes as you wish changing here to Uh, changing color of nodes helps us to recognize nodes if the node tree is viewed from far. Overall, now script is looking super cool with all these options. Now let's check some other updates for notary window. I'm selecting this bunch of nodes, and if we do right click over here, we have all the nodes as well as some other options. Extract to extract nodes from that pipe, and disable to disable nodes. Also, you can see the shortcuts there. We have some new options here. Okay select this node and select upstream all the nodes connected upstream got selected okay now select downstream and now it's the opposite of that also we have arrange cleanup uh, for automatic cleanup of script i'm not comfortable of doing this at this point manually doing that is recommended next one is align it will align the nodes in straight line and the distribute which do somewhat similar as the name suggest not so important but sometimes can be handy Okay I want to show you one more important update in preference before we used to set environment variables to load external scripts now we have some new parameters for importing custom scripts I have already done with some importing there are some cool scripts built by Katimoris and Magno Borgo enable this option and click on apply and then okay you can see some updates in console let's restart silavit the new interface is refreshing right <laughs> okay so in the console window you can see all that scripts are loaded and straight away ready to use go to actions here we have kmfx menu where we can see many tools mainly for roto and paint select the roto properties and action you can see the tools which are compatible for roto is activated i highly recommend to check kmfx scripts for making your work easier and interesting i hope you like this tutorial give a thumbs up and until next time bye bye